One right there, and one right there. Alright, what's more, you're gonna buy in the orb shop. Oh boy, he's getting a lack of two orb. I'm kinda worried about that right now. Alright, but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and use my fireball orb right here. Alright, before I decide where I want to go, let me uh, take a look at the board very quickly here. So I gotta try and make sure here that, I'm, that, I'm, that I decide on a good path to take. Oh, there's uh, a treasure chest just over there. And there's one over there as well, if I do go that way. But I'm thinking I'm going to pay through the gate because uh, uh, with this kind of selection, I can actually uh, uh, go to where Burrow is so I can steal some of her coins with the help of my fireball orb right there. So I'll gladly take it. Alright, anyways, let's see what Luigi gets. A five. Alright, it's going to go up. And he just lost some coins on the red space. Alright, time to go into a 2 versus 2 minigame, and we're playing Winging It. Alright, Burrow's my teammate for this one. Alright, let's see what happens here. Alright, we barely got it! How about that? I'm up to exactly 100 coins right now. Alright, time to head into the final turn here, and Bertle's gonna get an 8. Alright, let's see what could be inside this treasure chest for Birdo. Alright, she gets some coins uh, out of that. Alright, time to head to Wario, and he's gonna use his Super Shroom Orb as he got one coin inside it. Seven. Three. And a 9 for a total of 19. A warrior's about to play some more baseball. Looks like he missed everything. Too bad. Alright, looks like Wario's gonna land on a Koopa Kid space. Oh, Koopa Kid's gonna divide everyone's coins equally. This could get interesting now. Alright, my turn. I get a three, and I'm gonna land on a Koopa Kid space as well. Gosh dang it. Alright, swapping coins with whoever the wheel picks. Doesn't really matter since we all got the same amount of coins here. But it looks like the wheel's gonna land on Birdo. Alright, let's go to Luigi. Nine. Alright, let's see what's inside this treasure chest for Luigi. And that's gonna be a star. You gotta be kidding me! 
Oh god. This really does not look good for us right here. Alright, let's just see where the new treasure chests are at. There's one over there, and then there's one right here. And one right there. Choosing not to go through the gate. Oh, Luigi just barely made it to a treasure chest. This better not have another star in there, or else we're screwed. Okay, it's only coins. Oh, it's time for Luigi to challenge someone to a dual mini game. He's choosing to challenge Birdo. It looks like they're gonna play bridge work. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, it looks like the Ouija won that one. Uh, now Luigi gets an opportunity to steal something from Birdo. What's it gonna be? Nothing at all! So I, that duel was pretty much pointless right there. Alright, we're gonna finish it off with a four player mini game and we're gonna play Snow Ride. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Alright, we got it. We were exactly a second off of being my record right there, but it doesn't really matter. Glad we still won uh, that last mini game right there. So pretty much the only way that I can still win the game is if I get all three of the ball stars, but it's just not going to be very easy. We're, we're not completely out of it yet, but we'll see if we can still get lucky here. You never know. Alright, so let's go over the final results here. So here's all our stars. Luigi had the, had the most at the end of three, while I was the only person that didn't even get a single star. That was ridiculous. Alright, now let's take a look at our coins. I did have the most of them at the end of 65, while all my opponents have 55 right here. This could be a pretty interesting finish right here, but we'll see what happens. Alright, time to give out the bonus stars, and let's see what they are for this game. The Running Star, Shopping Star, and Red Star. Alright, so we're going to start with the Running Star. I don't think I have this one right here, but let's see who that's going to. Yeah, I knew it. That's going to Wario. It's pretty much over for us. Alright, time to go to the shopping star. Alright, let's see who gets this one. Oh, there are two of them. Birdo and Wario. Alright, now we are going to finish it off with the red star. And let's see who's getting this one. Wario. Alright, let's find out who our winner is.
It's Wario. So Wario is the superstar. So it looks like that was not a very good game that we had as we unfortunately came in last right there. Oh well, we did try our best though. Alright, but anyways, let's go ahead and go over our detailed results before we wrap things up for the segment. Looks like Burrow and Wario barely had the shopping star by 5 over me and Luigi. Wario used uh, the most orbs right there uh, by 1 over Birdo. A Wario had the running star by a long shot right there. We couldn't even have a chance right there. And as you can tell right here, uh, I was way off right there on trying to get the running stars. I moved the least amount of spaces with only 30 right there. Uh, I really kept getting tons of low numbers on the dice rolls, especially uh, early on in the game right there. The uh, luck just wasn't on my side for this game for what I was hoping for. I uh, landed on the most blue spaces. A Wario landed on the most red spaces by two. Uh, oh, Roberto and Luigi. It looks like I landed on the most character spaces. Me and Luigi had one green space, while Burrow and Wario didn't land on any of those. Luigi was the only one that landed on the dual space. Luigi was also the only one that landed on the mic space. Luigi was also the only one that landed on a DK space, and none of us landed on any Bowser spaces. That's something you don't normally see every day in Mario Party. And now let's go ahead and uh, take a look at our graphs. Alright, so it was a shame right there that we did not have a very good game right there, but... It is what it is. We still get uh, 225 cruise mileage points. But anyways, that is going to do it for Mario Party 7 for the Nintendo GameCube as part of my 2024 Valentine's Day Special. But we still have some more games to play. And we'll be right back for our next segment right after this. So stay tuned. <laughs> 